In this video, we'll find the oxidation numbers for each element here in MnSO4. First thing to note, this is a neutral compound. There's no plus or minus like we have with ions. So in a neutral compound, all the oxidation numbers, they add up to zero. That's important. We'll use that in just a minute. Manganese is a transition metal. It has different oxidation states, but we can figure out what this is by looking at what it's bonded to. When we have an ion, like SO4, that's the sulfate ion. It's a polyatomic ion. All the oxidation numbers add up to the charge on the ion. So if you've memorized that SO4 has a two minus charge, so its oxidation number is minus two, that's for the whole SO4 ion here. For these to add up to zero, manganese has to be plus two. And that's the oxidation number on MN and MnSO4. So let's figure out next what the oxidation numbers are for the sulfur, and then for the oxygens. So let's get rid of this minus two. And then we're going to look just at SO4, figure out the oxidation numbers just on the SO4 here. So sulfur is not on our list. That can have different oxidation numbers. But oxygen, oxygen is usually minus two, except with fluorines and peroxides. So each oxygen is going to be minus two. We don't know what the sulfur is. Let's set up an equation here, figure this out. So X plus four oxygens, each one is minus two, and that is going to equal the charge overall on the sulfate ion, which we said was minus two. So now we just figure out X. X plus minus eight equals minus two. So let's add eight to both sides to get X by itself. Eight plus minus two, that's a plus six. And that is the oxidation number on the sulfur here, plus six. Let's get rid of our box here. And so now we know the oxidation numbers on each element. Manganese is plus two, sulfur is plus six, and each one of these oxygens is minus two. This is Dr. B with the oxidation numbers for each element here in MnSO4, and thanks for watching.